There's not only bad things on 2020. This year has been crazy, from wildfires to almost having World War III at the beginning of the year, and now the pandemic that is affecting everyone. But these are not all bad things in 2020. That's why I'm doing this video, recommending the best video game experience of 2020 so far. And before moving on, I want to invite you to my stream Monday, Wednesdays and Friday. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. A little disclaimer, these games are from my perspective, so I understand if there's anyone who don't like these games, but I think there's a little bit for everyone here. I'm also a PlayStation player, so I think almost every game here in the list is a PlayStation exclusive, so sorry Xbox. Okay, let's see the games. Monster Hunter World Iceborne. I know, I know, Monster Hunter World Iceborne was launched at the end of last year, but its constant updates make it a very fun game to pick right now, especially with the new Elder Dragon, Alatrion. So if you and your friends are up to the challenge, it's time to pick this game up and form a party. If for some reason you're playing alone this game, just send an SOS player. There's a big community ready to carry you through the game. Our player is ready in the big attack. Get your healing items ready. Time to fight. Are you ready? Persona 5 Royale Persona 5 Royale is an enhanced version of the 2018 JRPG Persona 5. If Persona 5 is a great game, Persona 5 Royale is near perfection. And this must be one of the coolest games I have ever played. There's a lot of good things I can say about this game. The characters, the story, the music, the battle system. But I prefer that you pick up this game and see it for yourself. Do not disappoint us. Final Fantasy VII Remake I'm a huge Final Fantasy games fan and I did play the original game back in the day and sometimes I still pick it up and start all over again but putting my fanatism aside this is a great game that stands on its own an intense battle system, interesting and well developed characters incredible music and some funny moments make Final Fantasy VII Remake even though it's just a portion of the original story an incredible game to pick up on this 2020. If you have never played a Final Fantasy game, this is a great entry point. And remember, that even seasoned veterans are still confused for some things of this game. You're going all out. You gotta time our attacks just right. Hold out until you spot an opening. Take the lead. We could have killed you. Maybe you should have. The Last of Us Part 2 We are arriving right now at the most controversial game of 2020. You may love it or you may hate it, but it's not a secret that The Last of Us Part 2 is an experience. For me, it was raw, painful, heartfelt and confusing at some point. And it made me feel some things video games usually don't 
And it's complemented with some beautiful graphics and some of the best acting I have ever seen on a video game. So I invite you to join Ellie and the survivors on this extremely violent journey. Ghost of Tsushima And speaking about the journey, the adventure of Jin Sakai is one of a kind. The world, the music, the sound, the story, the characters, this is for me the game of the year so far. There is so much to do that at times it's a little bit overwhelming for me because I want to do everything, but it is a fantastic experience overall. Especially if you are into Japanese style setting. I eagerly recommend you to join Jin in his quest to liberate the island of Tsushima. Those are my five recommendations of video game experience for 2020 so far. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos every week, so you can check them out. Okay, there's nothing else to say, so see you next time.